It is time to check in on what's clicking in Cleveland. Romney Smith is ready to tell us all about it. She's in for Steph today. So, Romney, what is clicking in our area right now? All right, Jay, let's jump right in. One of my favorite stores, Target, is joining the likes of Google, Twitter, the NFL, and Nike. They announced today that Juneteenth will, in fact, now be a company holiday. Target headquarters will be closed for the day, and employees will get time and a half to observe the historic date. June 10th, June 19th, celebrates the date in which slaves were all recognized as free in the U.S. So we all know the Emancipation Proclamation freed the slaves legally, but plenty of slave owners just ignored it. So two years later, on June 19th, all of the enslaved were finally told and recognized that, hey, you're all free citizens now. This year marks the 155th anniversary, and that's this Friday. Columbus State Community College has decided to remove the statue of Christopher Columbus. Talks had been underway for years, but were accelerated to, quote, address the troubling history and legacy represented by the Christopher Columbus statue. The school president says it will come down within the next two weeks and be placed into storage. School leaders saying it's a symbolic gesture of the school's commitment to continue and accelerate the fight against systemic racism. The statue is expected to be replaced with an art installation. Also, there is a pretty good chance that fans will not be allowed to attend the Hall of Fame game in Canton this year. Today, Governor Mike DeWine said getting a group that big together is highly unlikely. However, he didn't rule it out completely. He said we have to see where we are when the game rolls around. Right now, it's scheduled for August 6th of this year. The Steelers are set to take on the Cowboys. So, Jay, a lot of people are going to be upset if that doesn't happen. So maybe they can make it work some other way. I have to tell you, Romney, the closer we get to the start of training camps and thinking about, uh, you know, the preseason games, mm -hmm. I think at this point, if I were a betting man, yeah. and I'm not, but if I had to pick one or the other, I'm not sure we're going to have an uninterrupted NFL season. A lot of things are happening yeah. in all sports. And even in the NFL, yesterday we heard Zeke Elliott was yep. one of uh, a handful of players that have tested positive. It's not looking great. And I so I don't know what it looks like. I don't know if we just have no preseason at all, but I'm starting to get increasingly yeah. concerned. For we, want the the, like, we want the normal season, season but you're right. I think it's, it's cutting it kind of close. Yeah, it is. And I'm sure we'll continue to follow it here at 3 News. Romney, thanks. Coming up next.